Welcome to Prophecy Investigators and Revelation Watchers, today, we're bringing you a special message, starting with a powerful clip from Tucker Carlson, he addresses some critical issues facing our nation today, following this, Troy Anderson will dive into his commentary, offering deeper insights into how these challenges relate to biblical prophecy and the times we're living in, let's begin. spoken in one, never thought I would, and I'm so thrilled, I'm honored to be here, I really am, and I am, it's totally without shame and entirely with gratitude I'm standing here, and I can't believe I just spoke after Bobby Kennedy, <laughs> so cool! That was a powerful message from Tucker Carlson, now, let's turn to Troy Anderson for his commentary and prophetic insights on these important issues. Welcome friends, as we continue our 40 Days to Save America campaign, I want to take a moment to reflect on a powerful speech recently given by Tucker Carlson at a massive Trump rally in Georgia. This was not just another political rally or a simple speech, Tucker Carlson delivered a fiery and impactful message that sure served as a wake-up call for all of us who care about the future of our nation. For years, Tucker has been a trusted voice in exposing the lies and manipulation from the media and political establishment. But what he said at the rally in front of thousands of dedicated Trump supporters was something else entirely. His words were a resounding defense of what America truly stands for and a call to prayer for those of us who believe in the founding principles of this great nation. Tucker started by expressing his surprise and honor at speaking at a rally, something he's never done in his long career as a journalist. But what really stood out to me was his passionate belief that Donald Trump's upcoming victory would be more than just a political win. It would be a triumph of the human spirit. He pointed out how Trump has faced relentless attacks, indictments, and attempts to bring him down, and yet he continues to stand tall, undeterred. This isn't just about one man. It's about all of us who are standing against a corrupt system that seeks to control us. Tucker drew a, a sharp contrast between Trump's supporters, law-abiding, hard-working Americans who love their country, and the weak conformist culture that is taking hold of the Democratic machine. He called out Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz, describing it as part of a party that's lost its way, promoting values that no longer resonate with the American people. What was especially noteworthy was Tucker's praise for Elon Musk, who he credited with single-handedly saving free speech in America by standing up for the First Amendment. As a billionaire with so much to lose, Musk's willingness to take a stand against the establishment shows just how deeply the tides are turning in this country. But Tucker didn't stop there. He went on to remind us all that the so-called freaks and misfits who support Trump, as painted by the media, are in fact the backbone of America. These are the people who work hard, pay taxes, and have given their lives to support the ideals that made this country great. Tucker's message was clear. We cannot remain silent. As Christians, patriots, and believers in the truth, we have a responsibility to stand up and fight back. This is not just another election, it's a battle for the soul of our nation. And as I explore my new book, The Trump Code and Revelation 9-11, we are at a pivotal moment in history. The decisions we make today will shape the future of America for generations to come. If you're interested in watching Tucker Carlson's full speech, we invite you to read our Prophecy Investigators and Revelation Watchers, 40 Days to Save America, Day 31, on October 26. We've included a link for you to watch the full speech. Let's continue this journey together as we fight to save America. Thank you, and God bless you. Dear friends, as we've reflected on the powerful truths today, some of you may feel the Lord calling you into a deeper relationship with Him. Or perhaps this is the first time you've been moved to give your life to Christ. If that's you, I want to invite you to pray this simple prayer of salvation with me. Heavenly Father, I come before you today confessing that I am a sinner in need of your grace. I believe that Jesus died for my sins and rose again, and I ask you to come into my heart and be the Lord of my life. I turn from my old ways and commit to following you. Fill me with your Holy Spirit, guide me by your word, and help me to live for you each day. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer, I encourage you to take the next step by asking a pastor to baptize you at a local church, making your decision to follow Jesus public. Baptism is a symbol of your commitment to Christ, and it's a powerful declaration of your faith. Also, seek fellowship with other believers so you can grow in your faith and learn more about your new life in Christ. Let's close with a final prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of your word and for speaking to us today. As we leave this moment, help us to keep your truth close to our hearts. Guide our steps, 
strengthen our faith, and let your light shine through us in a world that so desperately needs it. We pray for your continued blessing on our lives, our families, and our nation. In Jesus' name, amen. As we come to the end, I encourage you to dive deeper into Bible prophecy and Christian living through my best-selling books written by myself or co-authors. These include The Trump Code, Revelation 9-1-1, Your Mission in God's Army, The Military Guide to Disarming Deception, The Military Guide to Armageddon, Trumpocalypse, and The Babylon Code. These books will bless you richly, encourage your faith, and provide profound insight into God's hope for your life. You can visit my website at www.troyanderson.us, and I also invite you to explore Prophecy Investigators at www.prophecyinvestigators.com and Revelation Watchers at www.revelationwatchers.com. Lastly, please remember to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Your engagement helps us reach more people with this important message. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Until the next video, may God bless you, keep you, and shine his light upon you.